See, we started just down there, and then after heading around a little labyrinth, we're now over here. It's a bit like a maze over here in the airport. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Theme Park Hosting and another very exciting travel vlog, as today we're heading over towards Legoland Billund, not Legoland Windsor, which we are passing right now, or actually going into right now, and then going to turn around. But in fact, the one over in Billund, and across this video, we're going to head over towards Stansted, board a Ryanair flight, for our first ever time, yeah, we have never flown Ryanair before, but just gonna have an absolutely awesome experience. So Adam, we just left Legoland Windsor, we're yeah. now living towards Legoland Billund. Are you excited for this trip? Oh, honestly, it's been quite a while since I last visited Denmark, and it's my personal favorite country anywhere in the world that I've visited. Uh, and yeah, I've been wanting to go back now for so long, and to finally be going back is really exciting. Of course, it's only a very short trip this time, we're only doing Legoland Billund, um, it's just getting back to the country and seeing the people again and of course as well jumping back on another plane this year. Exactly, so no further ado, let's make our way over towards Sandstead and head to Billund. And here we now make it for our first ever time over towards Sandstead. I'll tell you what Adam, it's amazing not to be in Heathrow Terminal 3 for once, literally for the last 9 or 10 times we've been on a plane. It's been Heathrow Terminal 3. Yeah, we've done it so many times now. It seems to be, as you said, every single time we take yeah. a flight somewhere. It's always Heathrow Terminal 3, so it's nice to finally get out. And of course, it's a new airport as well. And of course, this is not so much of a theme park vlog, but a travel vlog. So we'll bring you through a bit of travel stuff as well on this video, including, of course, where we park, because it's around two hours away from us, Sandstead. So it was a bit of a drive, but because of a cheaper flight, it was no brainer. Yeah, I mean, we had kind of had an option to either go BA or go here. Um, of course I'm right out, but the thing is BA this time was like six times the price and we were like there's no point usually if it's like three times the price we're like okay it's fine but when it's like like literally six times the price it was like there was no point yeah so we parked over in a short stay car park we're only going to be going to the for like two days so not that long we've got our backpacks on so no suitcases of course right now we're quite strict on what you bring with you but yeah. we're interested to see everything we have it's a really awesome experience and it is going to be amazing as we do make our way around now towards the terminal, which actually is just behind me there. And after a very quick and smooth security, we have now made it into the terminal itself, and it's a bit of a maze here. I mean, it's exciting not to be in Terminal 3 for once, but look at this. I mean, I don't know if they're trying to make it all zigzaggy or what, but you literally walk around all of these shops, you may go through duty free. I mean, they want you to buy something, but it is a maze. It is a maze, and it's quite cool, but like, you know what, there's one that's really got my eye on this uh, airport, and that is a Lego store. Yeah, it's, we're in a sec. But... It's very rare, and you don't really get many of them around the world, and it's gonna be very cool to have one here. So we're gonna go around to, of course, we're gonna look at all the different shops. It's exciting, really, because, again, this is a whole new airport for us. Not just terminal, but new airport, too. So it's gonna be awesome to see all this stuff, Check out all the shops that are required. We've got a lot of time. Because we live a while away, yeah. we gave us plenty of time. So we'll show you around all of these all before our flight to Billund. We found it, Adam, there it is. I know. Sorry, Look sorry. at that. One of the only Lego stores over in an airport. I think there's four, isn't there? Yeah, I think there's four. I know there's one in Billund, which we'll see as well. I've been to three of them. Well, now I've been to three of them. I'm after going this one here, but I look at this. How cool is that? A little Lego store over in the airport. See, we started just down there, and then after heading around a little labyrinth, we're now over here. It's a bit like a maze over here in the airport. See, a little tip for anyone visiting an airport, all of those seats down in duty free are absolutely full, but go here, go to the empty seats. You actually just make your way towards one of the gates, and all of the seats are completely empty, and you get some amazing views of the airplanes. Yeah, look at this, completely empty, and right next to the terminal just there. Get out of the terminal, get to the gate, and there's probably way more seats along the way, but it's empty here. Well, we must have found the most quiet spot on the existence of mankind in this airport. Literally, just under the escalators, <laughs> there is one, two, three, four seats. No yeah. And that's us here, literally. There's no atmosphere, no view now. I mean, it's almost <laughs> too quiet. Yeah, it is. We're a little bit concerned that maybe we're not going to be here. But... There you are. You well, are, dear. We are. Well, we're right. But it's, obviously, no one's sat here for a while because they've still got the <laughs> face cover. And I still don't have my coffee, boys. <laughs> still got a coffee. And then, after finding our lovely space to sit, we kind of just relax for a little bit because it is absolutely round over at Stansted. If you don't know, right now we're over here at Billund, but of course I thought instead of talking on the plane, which is a little bit cramped, so of course it'd be weird to put out a camera and film for you guys, I thought I'd just talk over it right now and go for the experience. But yeah, Sam said, I love the airport, it's a bit like a labyrinth at times, it's very kind of you go around one way then down the other way, which then means at times it can get very busy in all sections. Yeah, it can, it's not very clear where to go either, like a lot of the shops and stores are not very organised in terms of where they're located and stuff, so you have to go around quite a few times to get like 
to get to know what it's like basically. Yeah, and then that's the thing of course, like with stuff like Terminal 3, you have some areas that are really quiet because it's not on the route, whereas there, because everything's on the route, you kind of have an enjoyable shopping experience because, well, it's very busy. Yeah, but it was nice though. Very nice airport, though. really worth going, and of course, it's obviously a new airport as well than just Terminal 3, because we know that one off by heart right now. We also got to experience Ryanair, literally the plane right behind right now getting boarded, is all went on and that's just how quick of an airline they are oh it's amazing when they that's get down so to the ground they're up again it's all like even cost low which sometimes doesn't work in your favor for example with bags with a certain size and stuff like that air conditioning not being on a full blast i should say at least but also times it does work in your favor for example there's no sitting around waiting for that last person to get on once it's gone it's gone and that's the truth about it they are Strict, but everyone knows what you get. Yeah, it's so efficient, honestly. I've never been on such an efficient airline before. And as you said, though, there are some negatives about it, but in my experience, my first Ryanair right flight, I actually quite enjoyed it. I thought it was a pretty good airline. Yeah, I do got them out. I'd definitely use them again. They are a budget airline, so I think yeah. even if I was like BA was a little bit more, I'd probably go BA. We'd probably prefer to go there still, but. Helps for us to work at least from Heathrow. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Heathrow is so much closer to us, about a 20 minute drive from us, so it's a lot closer. However, if we did need to take a Ryanair flight again, I wouldn't be disappointed. Like, I would actually choose to go on it sometimes as well, especially with some other airlines. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've been in EasyJet before, and I do prefer Ryanair than EasyJet. It's a good airline. Again, I'm not always a huge fan of the advertisements, but it is what it is. That's why you get the lower price, to be fair. And you know what you're getting when you go on it. And we got this flight as well, just so you know, for like a return flight for four people and reserve seats as well. It was only about £200, so yeah. we've got a pretty good deal. Well, it's beer, it was like a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> so it's definitely worth getting at times. And of course, in the future, it's great we can use them again. And as far as the actual airline goes, there was no delays, there was no cancellations. Once you booked it, you booked it, and it all went very smoothly. So huge thumbs up from Ryanair. Huge thumbs up from Stansted. And now, as you can see, we're over here at Billund, of course, making our way down towards Legoland Billund. Oh, it's weird saying that. It's, so it's been two years since we last said that one. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. awesome. But one thing you may not know is that Legoland Billund is literally right next to the airport, the other side of the airport, but so close that you can walk there in like 10 minutes. Yeah, it's really close. I mean, I'd say Legoland is more like a 20 minute walk, but like, it's still oh, that far. Yeah. Um, and also, so you can walk to the hotels and stuff. It's only another five to ten minutes after that, so it's really efficient, really quick, and obviously Lego House as well, and some other little bits, and obviously the town centre as well, it's really quick to get And hence to. why we can do it on the weekend. Yeah, it's perfect. And one nice thing is that there's now a path from the airport, well, a bit of a path. We saw it getting constructed somewhat two years back, so I think it's been a while in the making, but it seems that like this bit's new, and the only thing's up there, but... I feel like if we go to 2026, hopefully the rest of this path will be done. <laughs> exactly. Cool. But once you go over there towards all the like, colourful models and sculptures are, there's then a path that leads you directly, and you can see it, hopefully, in the distance right now, to Legoland Villa. Look at that. Yeah. And also That's how close it is from the airport. Yeah, once we go to us, but you see all like, the little stuff over there as well. That is actually the furthest car park away from Legoland Villa, but it is still owned by Legoland Villa, which is crazy. Thank you. And a little fun fact for my plane friends out there, if you ever go towards Billund, Billund Airport, it actually has the smallest operating BA plane, which is like this little propeller plane. It looks so cool. And for some reason, it's based over here at Billund, so. Yeah. I mean, we want to do it one day, but like, I don't know how we're gonna be able to do it. Yeah, so if you're, in, if you're into planes, well, there's one here that you can't find elsewhere. And then from the airport to now Legoland Billund, look how close it is, it's crazy, right? It is, honestly. It's quite surreal, like, to see how close it is to the airport. I mean, I remember it being very close before, but, Obviously, you do have to walk around the front of the airport to get to but the That's nothing. But it's literally like 10 minutes. We actually, actually walked about 10 minutes. And we're really approached the entrance, which is very, very Yeah, I mean, you want to say it's close to the airport. I mean, it's taken out a bit of the airport. That building over there is an airport building. That's an airport building. So the car park is taken out of the airport building. And as you can see, we're now making our way towards the entrance itself. Of course, tonight we can't go in the park at 8 o'clock. So it's a bit late. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit later, but you know what? It's still really nice. We've got two full days here as well because we felt like last time, uh, obviously in July in 2022, we've got two. Now we are playing as well, aren't we? Definitely necessary. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, July 2022, it was awesome as well, and now it's awesome. Making our way down here, probably can't hear a lot. One thing that we are going to do right now is take to a hotel, which is actually the Legoland Village. Oh, Legoland Holiday Village. Holiday Village. Really cool, and it's like it is of course owned by Legoland, uh, so Legoland Village. Yeah. I'm gonna mess it up a few times again, but. It's really nice and it's very like kind of adventurous feel. Yeah, so we're going to show you one last view of the park. We're going to check in. Of course, we're going to do a hotel vlog too. So a bit more than that, we're in a hotel vlog. However, after that, we're going to go to the supermarket, get some tea and then go back to our room, which of course we'll be sharing with you on this travel vlog right here. But look at that. Legoland Billund is awesome to be back. 
and here we have now arrived to our cabin we have just checked into our hotel and as you can see right behind me our cabin too it's awesome we've started the hotel vlog and it is absolutely amazing so check that out of course at the end of this video we'll be heading back in there i also mentioned it in the vlog but i want to mention it again can you see the guy out there holding the little goggles we'll probably get close later on but He's the over at Legoland and Windsor, one of my favourite characters, which yeah. is quite cool. And whether we've got to move from Legoland and Windsor or not, we're not sure, but we think it's pretty cool anyway. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, cool. very cool. And there are some more models, actually, that are very similar to Legoland and Windsor ones, all the Mexican models, up in the Legoland Hotel, which we'll probably show you in another video. It's yeah, cool. it's been really, really awesome. So right now, we're going to go to the supermarket, get some food, and of course, keep you guys up to date with our travels as we head around Billund. Oh, so awesome. And for anyone who does not know, right next to Legoland Billund is this absolutely crazy place just through here. Welcome to Lendia and it's the most bonkers water park, ski resorts and all that on a shopping centre bazaars. I mean look at this. How crazy is this? Okay, we've got all of our food right now, we're making our way back to the room and that's the thing. Sometimes you feel like eating out, other times you don't. And today we're like, you know what, we're happy with either. So at the end of the day, we went over here. I got myself some nice steaks, you got yourself a takeaway pizza. Yeah, We're heading back right now so we can all cook it up, but it's amazing. And the trays are going to pass right now, so it's quite embarrassing because they're going to stare at me. But it's awesome in there, I absolutely love it to bits. The land is awesome, breakfast get some food, and it's right for holiday village too. Yeah, it's so efficient, it's so quick to get here. Is there a train, um, is it? Just fine, yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's so cool, I don't love this place, but yeah, they're so close by to each other. Yeah. I'm sure they help each other as well as competition, but. Exactly, yeah, if they're going to be so partners cool. or whatever, because it just works really, really well. There you go, the trains are going, but we're going down, cooking oh. some steaks up, and we'll see you in a second. Sitting in the cabin with some steaks on the hob and some pizzas over here, over at Legoland Billund. It's, it's awesome, so cool. isn't it? Two days ago today, we set off over towards Billund from Stansted and now two days later, we are now getting ready for our final day over at Legoland Billund. Kind of because I forgot to end the travel vlog, but it has been absolutely amazing. We have had so much fun heading around all of here and there will be many vlogs from over on our adventure on the channel right now. But Adam, we are now finally over here for our final day, but how is the travelling? Oh, honestly, it was so good. It was actually better than I was expecting. Of course, we did find Ryanair right this time, which was our first time, and I've got to say, I'm quite impressed with it. It was actually pretty good. Um, I'm sure we just explained it as well, but yeah, it's a good flight, and just the whole experience has been really good fun. Yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. Of course, we weren't too sure when we arrived. It was our first time over at Stansted. It was our first time on Ryanair. It was a whole new experience for us, but I would 100% recommend it. If you're considering going somewhere like here, and you want to be a bit more of a budget trip, go like this, but even if you don't want it to be a budget trip, you might as well fly somewhere like Ryanair, then have more treats when you're over here. Maybe go and have a restaurant meal or something like that. It would definitely be worth doing that. But with all that said, that is it for me, Tom Derrick, from over here from Female Coasting. And I hope you enjoyed this travel vlog. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.